shocking than the sudden death of young actor Brandon Lee. Lee fell by some mysterious hand during the filming of the movie The Crow. It was all the more tragic because Brandon's father, the legendary Bruce Lee, died mysteriously 20 years ago. But there are more similarities, more reasons to say that it could all be a curse. Tonight, actor David Carradine of Kung Fu fame reports on the fate of the two men who were his friends, the secrets of Bruce and the truth about Brandon Lee. The Chinese call it Yuan Fan, fate of the deepest sort. For my old friend Brandon Lee, son of Bruce Lee, that ancient saying whispered of a deadly future. Brandon died from a gunshot fired while filming a movie, a movie most people thought would launch Brandon to Hollywood stardom and perhaps dispel what some people called the curse of the Lee family name. Instead of proving the soothsayers wrong, a 28-year-old actor lay dying in a small-town hospital. The same fate that tore the father from the earth before his time now it seems had come for the son. It's really weird how it's happening in the same family. Hey, they always say that Bruce gave away too many secrets. Because it just seems too strange. I mean, it's all conspiracy. Hollywood has always loved a mystery. But perhaps none so much as the real-life speculation about the Lee family. It all started with Bruce Lee. He invented a new kind of martial arts action picture. Bruce mixed Eastern violence with Yankee humor, thrilling audiences, stuffing box offices, and a star was born. Bruce Lee is a hero that transcended uh, race, but he would be the first uh, most recognizable Asian actor superstar to be on the scene at that particular time it's easy to forget now that bruce lee's legend was born on a tv show the green hornet followed by a trio of chinese kung fu pictures but international audiences worshipped bruce lee by age 30 he was a motion picture god but glory came with a price the Lee legacy was taking shape, a folklore painted in dark colors. There was talk of ties to the Chinese underworld, rumors the triads were displeased by Bruce's profiting from ancient martial arts secrets, whispers of gambling debts only blood could pay off. One of his favorite quotes was, knowing is not enough we must apply and then he said willing is not enough we must do he was working to finish what would turn out to be his final movie game of death when it all came to a sudden end on a summer night in 1973 32 year old bruce lee was found dead in a woman's apartment Uh, within the tradition of the so-called martial arts, uh, there is often a fine line where the natural power blends into supernatural power. And so began the new Lee legend, what they called the curse of the dragon. Bruce Lee admitted battling dark Eternal forces while he was alive. Superstition blamed Lee's father for angering the spirits by resting in a forbidden grave. So, the idea of a supernatural spell, one lasting three generations, became the easiest explanation for a life filled with enormous potential cut so tragically short. An eight-year-old boy who never really knew his dad would have the hopes of his father's faithful followers thrust upon him. The world would be watching and waiting for Brandon Lee. 
Brandon laughed at his father's um, uh, fame about his death, about how the mystery behind it. But Brandon found out writing the tale of his father's dragon opened doors. He too would return to Hong Kong to make his first feature. In America, his first major role was as my son in Kung Fu the movie. I came to know and love this man. Then earlier this year, Brandon starred in a martial arts thriller called Rapid Fire. <laughs> But this film, The Crow, that he was doing when he was when he was killed, uh, was less martial arts, more acting. And this is what we had talked about, that he didn't want to be a martial arts star. He wanted to be an actor. And he was a good actor. While filming his death scene in The Crow, Brandon consummated his romance with mortality. Somehow, a real 44 caliber slug slammed into him. He hit the ground and never got up. Even more chilling, his own father played out a nearly identical death scene in his own last picture. In it, Bruce Lee's character is murdered by a bullet planted in a prop gun. The irony was inescapable, and another chapter was about to be written in the Lee legacy. Since that fateful night, anybody you ask can give their version of what happened. Was Brandon the victim of a Chinese mafia hit? A grim repeat of his own father's death scene some 20 years ago? Or could there truly be something to the Lee family curse? More likely, the real answer is much simpler much sadder. It seems somebody made a terrible mistake. The show started out well enough, but it didn't take long for things on the set of The Crow to get weird. The first day of shooting, a crew member was electrocuted. Within days, a car accident, an unexplained fire, a drive-by shooting, then, on March 13th, a freak winter storm destroyed the backlot sets. It seemed like someone or something did not want this movie to be made. People even made nervous jokes about the curse of the crow. But no one expected this strange chain of events. In a special effect gone haywire, Brandon was hit by a 44 caliber slug. The ammunition was not prepared uh, in the normal way with a, with a load crimper. It was loaded with hot glue. And something like this could be the reason that the slug was left in the cylinder when they thought they had emptied all of the rounds, the dummy rounds. A blank cartridge can do this with a slug in front of it. The results could be deadly. I think the idea that Brandon was murdered or something was astray is very slim. But I think basically it was his time. The spirit of the father that shone so brightly through the sun was tragically extinguished. I thought he'd go a long way, and he did. I thought he'd go a lot farther. I wish he could. And if I could talk to Brandon right now, what I'd say to him is, uh, come back. I really miss him. So sad and tragic, a life so full of promise ended.